Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. It's so good to see you, and it's so good to see Michael. Now, I was standing around here at Votar today, and I was like, man, this is an incredible machine. It's probably a generational aged wizard that's running this machine, and while Michael might be that on the inside. He's still a very young man. Now I wanted to pull him on here because he is a leader in Heidenheim program here in Southern California and he knows the machines really well, but I wanted him to convey the message to you about what he likes about this tree mill and what he likes about manufacturing as a whole because guess what? His dad was a machining, but he had no idea until he was about 17 or 18 years old. So Michael, let's first start with what do you like about machining when it comes to machines and technology. I know you're a big technology guy. Okay, so one thing I like about machining, and that's I think that's everyone's wish, is making chips fly. Coming in, knowing that your tools are, are ready to go, and sometimes even go, cutting at a, at a speed that is not even meant for the tool, and you're blowing chips away, everyone around you is like, wow, look at the chips fly. People that have no idea in this industry, you just show them a video and they get wowed. Yeah, that's I exactly think that's, right. That's the drive. The drive is the wow. You've actually described a little bit of my complication, Michael, because when I make a really cool video about machine monitoring and there's no chips flying, not as many people watch. Everyone wants to see the chips fly, just like you said, right? Everybody <laughs> wants to see the chips fly. <laughs> Everybody. Everyone, everyone. Everyone likes to come out here, especially to the tri mill. When this machine was first bought, everybody was right here. And this is not the only machine that that's that's out here in, in Southern California. There's other uh, machine shops with the Heidenheim. And I've been fortunate enough to run those machines and let them fly. And I think they're doing pretty good with the new guy on there. What do you like about Heidenheim specifically? Because let's be fair, the majority of machines we see out there are, eh, we're gonna do it, Fanuc. We see a lot of Fanuc out there, right? We see Siemens a lot as well, and we see Heidenheim. Heidenheim seems to be and Siemens seems to be the leaders in that 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 next step above on that quality of those bigger machines what do you like about Heidenheim so one thing I will start off with you said something about Siemens me and a great buddy we go back and forth Siemens can do this Heidenheim can do this back and forth all day long if you look in front of you you have a very powerful Siemens control in front of you right next to it another Heidenheim I ran both the best that I could take, honestly say is Heidenheim. Yes, it's a big curve of learning and everyone's so used to Fanuc or however you want to say it, Fanuc, Fanuc. Yeah, we see it everywhere. But in the five axis world, I'm so sorry, Fanuc. It's not there. It's not there. It's not, it, it's not as fancy as a Heidenheim or a Siemens. It's, it's always on the operator, how user friendly it, it could be. These controls are very, basic. Yes, I know not a lot of people know it, but if the industry had more, everybody would be able to know how to run the hide and hide. No one would ever go back to a Fanuc or anything like that. Why? Because the power is there. You Conversational programming, when something is not running right, you could open it up and the file is there that you could trick the machine to do whatever you want. Needless to say, it sounds like you're a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> I, I, I pray to everyone. I tell everybody, hey, hide and hide is the way. So let's talk about the machine itself. It's an obviously the size of a dance floor. I mean, you and I could go in there and, and I'm not sure how good of a dancer you are, but I could show off my bad moves inside there. What do you like about this machine? Because I know you've had the opportunity to run very large machines throughout your young career. This machine, 14,000 RPM. We haven't reached a thousand inches a minute on the cutting speed, but we've gotten up to 800. Woo. We've done some parts on here and we've reduced mad cycle time. These machines are the future. I heard a rumor that the job that you're working on more or less went from 800 hours on another machine in another, in another area to 400 hours on this machine. So 50% reduction immediately. But I also heard the rumor that because of the quality of this machine, the precision, the rigidity, and you mentioned 800 inches a minute, not quite a thousand inches a minute, but precision and rigidity that there's way less secondary operations of needing to clean up. There's way less time that goes into QC and the cutting tool life actually is extended because of that. So overall, the investment in a higher quality machine like this saves a ton of money on the other side of things, the other back end of things, doesn't it? I always tell everyone buying quality parts is the way to go. You buy a quality machine, you get quality work. 
you can grab anyone that runs another machine and they're going to produce the same way because the machine is the quality of them it's what's the main thing it's the machine this machine can hold one thou triple in five axis the first time we got this machine we were lasering everything everything was coming out nice 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 and we we're like why do we need to laser everything from here on out we'll spot check them with the inspector with a mic and let them rip when they got to inspection one thou true position uh. this building is a temp building it's very important to keep your machines temperature control yeah very well said you might have even just earned yourself a trip to the czech republic would you join me at the vein factory with these guys in czech republic oh yes oh yes we'll just go ahead and put that into the universe right now see if we can make that work michael i appreciate your time today thank you so much for sharing your story thank you for being a machinist thank you for enjoying the hide and hide enjoying the tree mill and being brave enough to join me on camera not everyone says yes when i pull them from the side and go hey you want to hop on camera most people go uh no but you hopped right on. So thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. And I want to thank Vota and everyone upstairs.